Hi, my name's Catherine Davies. I'm a Development Officer with the Department of Primary Industries and Regional Development. Today I'm going to be talking you through the process of condition scoring sheep. Condition scoring is an important part of the process in managing sheep nutrition. It's quick and easy and can be done in the race while you're doing other jobs. It's really important to get your hands on the sheep to condition score rather than just visually assess because a lot of things can be hidden by the long wool. You only need to condition score 25 sheep from the mob to get an average and you can pick these randomly from the middle of the mob as they're running through the race. Make sure that the sheep are in a standing and relaxed position, they're not in a crush or a clamp and they're not being crushed by other sheep as this can give you a misleading condition score. To assess the condition score we're looking at three main things. The backbone, the eye muscle that runs alongside the backbone and the short ribs and we're looking at how much muscle and fat cover are over these areas. To do a condition score, place your thumb on top of the backbone, your palm over the eye muscle, and your fingertips on the end of the short ribs. Move your hands back and forth over these areas and try and paint a picture in your mind of the level of muscle and fat cover, as well as how full the eye muscle is. Condition score one will have no fat and very little muscle. The bones of the backbone and the short ribs will be very pointy and you'll easily be able to feel in between them. The eye muscle will be very small and there will be a hollow from the spine down to the short ribs. At this condition score, the sheep will be prone to disease and at risk of death. Condition score two will still have no fat, but will have a small amount of muscle along the backbone. You'll still be able to feel in between each of the short ribs and backbones, but it won't feel as bony. There will still be a definite hollow from the backbone to the short ribs, but not as much as condition score one, because the eye muscle has filled out a little. This is the least acceptable condition for thrift. It can be acceptable for dry sheep when the feed is short, but it's a clear indication that nutrition requires attention. Ewes in less than condition score two and a half will have decreased production and reproduction and increased mortality. Breeding ewes should not be below condition score two. Condition score three will have a good level of muscle and fat cover. The backbone and short ribs will have rounded ends and you shouldn't be able to feel much in between each of the bones as there is a good level of fat and muscle covering. The eye muscle will be filled out and it will make more of a straight line from the backbone to the short ribs. Between two and a half and three and a half is a good condition score for merino ewes from joining to lambing, with condition score three being the aim. It's also an ideal condition score for young sheep. Condition score four will have lots of muscle and fat cover. You'll feel the backbone and the short ribs if you press, but won't be able to feel in between the bones. The eye muscle will be very full, making it rounded out from the backbone to the short ribs. Ewes in more than condition score three and a half will have increased production, but decreased profitability overall. These are tending towards overfat. Condition score five will have an excessive level of muscle and fat cover. You won't be able to feel the backbone or short ribs at all, even if you press. The eye muscle will be very full, making it very round from the backbone down to the short ribs. You can record the condition score of each sheep either on a paper recording sheet or on the sheep condition score app on your smartphone. This will give you the average of the mob and allow you to make decisions based on that. The more you condition score your sheep, the more calibrated, accurate and quicker you'll become you'll even be able to add in half scores. Sheep should be condition scored throughout the year to ensure they're meeting their condition score targets and aren't becoming too thin or too fat. It's much more efficient and profitable for ewes to maintain weight than to lose it and have to regain it. Key times for condition scoring throughout the year include weaning, joining and scanning. You can then adjust your feeding regime based on your condition score targets. Have a look at some other videos in this series, including how to assess pasture feed on offer and how to feed budget.